Welcome back to Norfolk, Virginia, the main hotel 2018 Mid-East Athletic Conference Football Media Day. Joining me now, Mary Cloud, Cloud Bethune Cookman University, the Bethune Cookman Wildcats. I'm joined by seniors, wide receiver Kevon Mitchell and senior cornerback Elliot Miller. Interesting, Kevon. You got that ring? Let me see that bling you got there. You got that bling. What year is that ring from? 2015, my freshman year. 15. Now we're coming on the 18 campaign. Wildcats haven't won a little title in a while. What's it going to take for Bethune Cookman to become the dominating force it was once upon, not too long ago, to get back to being on top of the MIAC? I believe it's just all hard work, the dedication, the, the time, the, the strength, everything, just being focused and just working back to get on top and just taking the leadership, taking the coaching, and that's the things we've been really been working on this summer. And, and talking about that, you know, what do they say in Elliott? I guess you'd have to go along with this. Defense wins championships. Y'all yes, all, all say that when Bethune-Cookman was winning them championships, that defense was beating up everybody. <laughs> Elliott, I know you play cornerback, but how do you get back to having that dominating defensive uh, unit? Just playing Wildcat football. That's all we used to do. Just play Wildcat football and just be aggressive, know your opponent, and really just play hard every play and win every down, win every play. And that's all we want to do is just be an aggressor. So that's it, that Wildcat football, win every play, win every down. Yes, sir. I got you. So tell us some of the guys you got coming back uh, beside yourself that makes us think that Bethune Cook is going to get back to having that dominating defense. I believe we have a lot of guys that are coming back. We have our whole D-line coming back, our whole linebackers coming back, and a couple – secondary people that's coming back. And plus, Coach Sims and the coaches recruited not real nice today, I mean, real good this year. We have a lot of new incoming players coming, so it's going to be a lot of competing. And it's going it's to be tough this year for a lot of teams. All right, so y'all got something for them we're not expecting, huh? Yes, sir. Okay, we'll see that uh, offensively. Obviously, your offensive coordinator, one of the legends in the MEAC football, and Alan Suber. Uh, what's Coach Suber doing to help get this unit on the board more, where they can push people around like they used to? Well, Coach Soup, he always tells us the atmosphere of how his team used to be when they was winning championships. So that helps us a lot. Then just his intensity he brings to the game, he motivates us, always gets us going. So that's, that's pretty much, and he's very detailed. So with that being said, that's just a few things that he does to help motivate us to be the best we can. Now, I heard a little rumor out there that y'all going to go back to that Wyatt Bone offense. Y'all going back to that Wyatt Bone? <laughs> <down? Yeah. laughs> I, I don't think y'all be doing that. that but, that's not in the plans. <laughs> hey, if you got a quarterback like Alan Suba, oh, you, you go back to that. He, he, he was a good one. I would give him credit for that. Uh, when you talk about Bethune-Cookman, it's like you, you can't mention Bethune-Cookman without mentioning Florida Classic. I'm not going to talk about the school, but what's it like? You know, I, I didn't get a chance to play in a game like that. What's it like to play in the Florida Classic every year going up against FAMU? Um, you just know it's going to be a dog fight, really. Because, like, it doesn't matter what the record is, what people are going through. When it comes to November, mid-November, it doesn't matter. So everybody knows it's going to be a dog fight. And plus, it, like, the atmosphere just, just real crazy. I'm used to it now from my freshman year and plus playing in high school. Like, that's what it used to be like that. But it's real crazy and it get real intense, too. Your thoughts on Florida class? Um, referring back to what he said, it's, it's crazy. It's a crazy <laughs> atmosphere. <laughs> it's crazy. It's fun. I, I used to call it, used to be one of the better rivalries in, in sports. Mm -hmm. But when's the last time they beat y'all? It's like it's been a pretty much a one-sided relationship for a while, but they've been some great football games uh, that whole time there. So getting back to the field and outside of that, so what are some of the games on the schedule y'all looking forward to? Who do you open up with, and uh, what other game are you looking forward to getting into? Um, we open up with Tennessee State, of course, but really we're ready for everyone. Everyone have to come see us this year. Like everybody said, you know, we've been off and on with, this, um, with the um, championships, but – Really, everyone have to see us this year. Just, yeah, y'all been battling Tennessee that. State for a little while. See, and I'm gonna tell you, see, yeah. I'm a MEAC guy. And every time y'all yeah. go there and y'all don't beat a, a, a school like a Tennessee State or a SWAC team, I hear about. It. <laughs> so when y'all go there, you represent against Tennessee State and Rod Reed and their program that they've got there. Tremendous football programs that are that are going at it. So just a couple more questions before we let you go and continue to your media day. Is is this team good enough 
to win the MIAC? Yes, sir. Straight up, point blank. Yes, sir. Give it to me real. Yes, sir. Why? Of Tell course. me why I should believe y'all going y'all gonna to win the title. It's just the, the dog in us, the competition. Everyone, every, every second someone's competing. We compete on the field, off the field. We always look out for each other. We just, it's just a brotherhood as a family. So, so where was that dog last year? Did the dog get away from the host, got off the leash, and, and went astray or something? The dog didn't get off the host. <laughs> <laughs> we, just, we just let some food slip out our plate. That's what it was. That's all it was. You, you let the food slip out your plate? That's all it was. Well, yes, uh, well you know what? I'm, I'm sure North Carolina Central saying they let some food slip out the plate, too. When y'all got on with that Hail Mary, the, one of the best games you've seen, <laughs> ruin that season. I know what I'm talking about, fellas. So y'all try to tell me this. Central, they still think about that Hail Mary. Y'all did a great job staying in there competing. So before I let you go, I'm going to give you an opportunity to tell the folks back home why we should care about Bethune-Cookman football this year. I feel like we should, um, y'all should care about Bethune-Cookman football because we're a good football team. And plus, it's a family thing, too, when you come to Cookman. It's not all about football. It's all about family and education. So when you go to Cutman, you're going to get that. And the football team, that's what it's about. It's just about family. So win or lose, we're, st we're still going to stick together. And plus, like I said, we're a good football team, too. So you have no, no choice but to respect us. I got you. And y'all have done it the right way. Pleasure to watch how y'all bring that tenacity to the football field each and every week that you guys are on the field. Best of luck to y'all this year. And we'll see if y'all are going to bring that dog back that y'all <laughs> were telling me about. We'll, we'll see about it coming up. Bethune-Cookman, everybody. Coming up next, we'll hear from the Bears, Morgan State University, when we return to 2018 Mid-East Athletic Conference Media Day. <laughs>